Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon. We're just uh, looking over our savannah, hoping it's uh, beautiful. Uh, thanks for all the feedback then, last couple of episodes. I did have to sort of batch record a couple of these, so apologies if I didn't get back, if I've sort of done stuff that's rubbish. Um, somebody has said that the, the low-down fence is fine for flamingos, so we can actually raise this and make them happier. So we're going to try that, um, first of all, before we do anything else. So let's try and use that one, I guess. Now, I'm assuming you're going to be unhappy until it's all done, right? There we go. Let's turn it around so we can see all this side as well. Now, just shut up a minute. There you go. See? Yeah? Yeah, okay. And then we'll come into terrain and just have one more little go of, uh, of fixing some of this trample terrain here. Because I can start, I've learned to see it now, especially in these open ones. You can. Oh, stuff's still loading in, look. There you go. Ah, there you go. Uh, otherwise, looks okay there. Alright, so hopefully. I think they're still a bit crowded, right? Oh no, it's just saying well, well suited now, that's good. I think what might have happened is that uh, guests have started to come up this way a little bit and this this path, this path here is no longer as uh, quite as busy as it was. Uh, so hopefully that's good. Uh, what did we do there? Why couldn't we fix that? Was that just because somebody was stood there? Tell you what then, while it's empty, well, while it's empty, it should stay empty, but while it's empty, let's, uh, let's just pause it momentarily and put in some of those yellow flowers. Right, and one of those hedges. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right then, so today I think we need to start doing it. We've got a nice savannah area set up. Happy with that. We've got giraffes and we've got uh, everything else, basically. There's more savannah animals, but they're all kind of same here. I'm happy to move on to something else. What I did do, that's right, off camera just yesterday, I um, figured out how to how this path is going to go, basically. So we've got some funky path here with, um, with these guys in. So actually, the one thing I will want to do now, looking at it, is that does look a little silly there, where, it's, where just that one bit is raised. There we go. So it's going to make them a little unhappy, but overall, I, I think they're probably still fine. Prefers to with a great elevation. I'm not really concerned now, to be honest. You, you, you can be happy. And then just learn to be happy, you know. That carries on all the way around here, and that's going to give us the sort of rough pathing of the the final area of the part of the part which is just going to be a sort of Asian area and a polar area. Polar is where I'm going to start today, just so it's because it's so different from savannah. I think it'd be interesting to kind of have that uh, sitting relatively next to it. And also the Asians are going to be the last area because the Asians have some of the toughest animals, I believe. Uh, things like pandas and stuff actually are quite tough to uh, to look after. So uh, let's go down and have a look at polar. We've got uh, penguins, we have polar bears, we have arctic wolves, uh, and then we also have crocodiles. We have Californian sea lions. So I'm kind of thinking this is polar slash water, you know. Um, we also have like uh, camels and gems bark and stuff. But they're not, they're deserts as opposed to savannah. I might try and squeeze some of those in, maybe a camel at least. Uh, but I'm going to go for polar bear, I think. Polar bears live alone in small groups. Uh, let's have a look at what they like. Uh, similar to brown bears, uh, I could do with a little bit of information here about their thing. Ah, snowy rock cave, we may not have. That's a fair point. We need to make sure we have the right enclosures for them. Uh, oh no, we do. We have snowy rock cave, that's good. And do we have anything here? Cat climbing tree, large chimpanzee bars, swinging log, gorilla bars. We've got it. We need to try and get some chimps in as well, so we can use this stuff, right? Okay. Grey wolf seven's given birth. Nice. Uh, which means we probably have to sell out a wolf. Because yeah, there you go. Yeah, happy about that, weren't they? Yeah. Too many of them. Too many wolves. Okay, they're fine with that many wolves. Okay, uh, Polar then, let's have a look. So we, the one thing I don't like about this game and the thing I... Oh, oh, that was the other thing somebody mentioned about the sickness. They said it might be because it's close to that. But I don't know, to be honest with you, the giraffe is sick. And they're nowhere near that. Oh, one of them had a baby though. We have a baby giraffe, I missed that. Um, yeah, no, we'll not worry about that just yet. Somebody said that they need path here because people want to buy the compost. They don't, it's, uh, it's just... It's a, it just re generates revenue randomly. 
Uh, yeah, one thing I don't like about this game, and I think I'm not going to like about Planet Zoo, is that it says, well, polar bears live in snow, so you must have snow. And that, that's not really how zoos work. Um, but I've got a feeling it's how this zoo works, and I've got a feeling how it's going to be to an extent Planet Zoo works, although there are going to be things, I've already thought of ideas that we can sort of get away from that, to be honest with you, so not too worried. Uh, one thing I want to do is drop this down a little bit. We're going to have a big underwater viewing section here for our uh, for our little champ. So we're going to bring that down to there. Um, the gate for flamingos is blocked. It really shouldn't be. Why is the gate for flamingos blocked? I do wonder if it's just because there's a bit too much water on the way in there. There's just got like one square to get to. Apparently they will go up and down a step, but they won't go to a square. So, you just come down to here. Sand. If I replace some of this with sand, that's fine. Calm down. And then put some more water over here to give them a bit more of a way to get in thinking that was the problem. Uh, okay, I'm going to pause the game to stop getting sidetracked. We're six minutes in and we haven't built any animals yet. So, let's go back to where we're looking. We're going to keep it a little bit further away. We'll just have like a green belt in the difference here. But I really want to keep... Um, I really want to have like a lower down section where the water's going to go. That we can see through into the water. Well, we can't really do it properly, but the the idea of an underwater area is what I want to do. You can do it with the with the uh, the add-on pack, I believe. Um, but we don't have that. A few people have asked about that, by the way. I don't I don't have them. Um, a load of people have said, "Oh, how do you play this? Where do you download it from?" I, I don't. I have the disc. I've had the disc for years and years. So, uh, unfortunately, it's it's one of those ones where I think I think you need the uh, I think you need the original disc. Um, to play this one. I don't believe it's available on good old games or anything, unfortunately. Uh, so, we'll have a concrete path that comes here that will be the basis of our viewing point for um, for our polar bear. Okay, And then that can come over here and then there's going to be a walkway that doesn't go down there. If, you'd, so if you'd, you've seen the polar bears already and you want to not bother, you can do that. Uh, but then we'll also have a small section here, I think, that that raises up more to a more to a, uh, a flatter level from there. There you go. That uh, that has a look at the the polar bear from from higher up as well. Okay, and then we'll do something like that and that. Money wise, I feel like we're doing all right. I feel like we can afford what we're doing here. Um, let's try and keep that neat for now. Yeah, I think that's going to be the basis of the viewing area. So, uh, let's come into the fences. So we're going to want this plexiglass fence. With strong fence, cannot climb or jump over it, allows guests to see. I'm pretty sure that's the one we're going to go for, unless strong fence, but maybe broken by strong animals. An animals cannot jump over it, but promise may climb out. Yeah, so that's the only one I would consider going for is that one, but I think... Um, I don't think it's gonna it's gonna be any good. So all of that's gonna be viewing, as is a bit a bit of that, not all of it. Okay. Uh, and then we'll come around here, and we'll come around here, and we're gonna take it right back. So there's a lot of uh, a lot of chill out space for. The creature, there we go. Polar bear. Alright. And that's a perfect spot for the gate. So we'll have a asphalt there to show it's there. And the zookeeper is having trouble getting to polar bear. Well, there isn't a polar bear in there at the minute, so nobody needs to, do they? So just calm your passions, alright? Uh, what I might do actually is just break up that a little bit with some of that and then we can put some benches or something there I whoop, hello i just feel like uh maybe there's a bit too much of a window there so polar bears then let's get them in i'm gonna say a boy and a girl he's probably fine um, they're relatively solitary right i'm pretty sure so they're noisy 
Diverse species, 10 different species in our zoo, nice. So there's going to be loads of stuff here. Too much grass, not enough snow, not enough salt water, and not enough shelters. Okay, so first things first, let's get the shelter in. The snowy rock shelter. Looking pretty good there. Let's have it up this corner. Right. Um, salt water terrain. That's the first time we've used that, I believe. Salt water. So all of this is going to be salt water. And I hope that's enough. We might have to do some more of that, but that's okay. And then pretty much everything else is snow, right? Which I imagine is going to be another expensive one. But I feel like we're doing all right for cash right now. The problem is here, we have a similar sort of problem here that we did with the savanna in as much as I don't think any uh, any regular grass can get out. There we go, how's, how's that? So there's too much snow, not enough water. That's fine. Um, I'm going to click amend on that and then I'm going to bring the water out this way. Like that. And then hope that's enough. Uh, no, still not enough. They need a lot of it. Okay, um, let's go for some more that way then, I guess. I don't mind them having a lot of it. I suppose they do swim a lot, right? There we go. Bring it all in there. For real? See there, look, the terrain is too steep. So this is another one where... Like they, they just they the the one terrain prop level is probably too much. So let's go down to here and let's drag that up, right? And that's gonna have to be where the level is, right? So we but we can work from that, right? We can do Oops. Yeah. we just do that that should I'm hoping that that one level is fine yeah there we go it's not it's not steep enough now and then also that gives us more water to play with because we can we, we've kind of made the pool bigger now right oh but not that much there I don't like that so still too much stone not enough salt water that's crazy man that's like all they want isn't it Oh, a bit of, bit of uh, green there. Um, well, I suppose we can get rid of that. And... Can we carry on over that way a bit? Maybe there. There's that salt water. I mean, it kind of looks nice how it's sort of soft. Too much snow and not enough salt water. But they're just... And they're not enough shelter. Yeah, I know about the shelters. So they, they literally just want salt water everywhere. So how about a separate... They just want to swim, don't they? Oh, can't have that there. That's got to be... In fact, all that really has to be snow. So the... So the thingies have got somewhere to go. I can't I just can't believe this is right. There we go. That was literally that one square was was the fix. Okay. Um just seems like a lot of water. Uh and then we'll have this oops going in there. They've got somewhere to sleep. So that is that it? Oh noisy. So it says it's well ex well suited, 72% suitability. I reckon there's a few things we can do. I reckon there's a bit of bit of plant, maybe not trees, but I don't think there's any specifically Arctic trees, is there? I can't even, like, I bet these probably don't even, yeah, okay. 
You still can't get into the flamingos. Look, rocks. There's got to be like snowy rocks or something. Yeah, here are. Look. Yeah, they love the rocks. Oh, look. <gasps> There's large ones as well, look. They can't get enough. They can't get enough of the snowy, the big snowy rocks. Oh, I think I enjoy the rockies a bit. Yeah, I want them all along the back wall. That, that needs to be where they go, isn't it? Right there. I really, yeah, these, these have got to go. We need we need the big rocks. Sorry, sorry, that's got to go. We will fix it momentarily. Just hold on. We want them all along the back so it looks real. Uh, let's put your shelter back in. There you go. And then a few more. Uh, what are we looking for? Rocks. Large lots. There's two large. And there's a couple of different small. There you go. Right then. I think that's that's pretty good polar bears. They seem happy. Lots lots of ways to swim around and be cool. Um we have a zebra who's very sick, unfortunately. Hopefully somebody will get there soon. That's not what I wanted to do at all. So, let's sort this out. That's going to have to go there and there. Gives us two fours, right? Good. And then let's fix this. It's caught an illness from another animal. Oh, it's spreading. Uh, okay, so there, there's the new uh, viewing platform for polar bears. Or they can walk over here and see this. There you go. That's somebody getting healed. I could hear it happen. That's good, it's what we like. And then all of that can be grass again. Okay, the polar bears are expensive. They better bring some people in. But people are on the way up here, look. That's good. It's a bit of a way for them to go. Um so we kinda need to sort of fill in the gap there, really, right? Because we will have other we'll have penguins here maybe and uh what was the other what was the other one that kind of didn't quite fit but sort of does? Oh, yeah, seals. Polar bear's given birth. Nice. What sex is it? Does it tell us that anywhere? Gender male. What I'm thinking is that if we sell the male now, then they're never going to get over the top. Whatever whatever gets born, it's not great for genetic diversity, I understand that, and in a game that matters, like Planet Zoo, we will take that into consideration, but for now, it's, yeah, we've got a bit of a, sort of, um, uh, what, who was it? The, not, 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 not Prometheus. Who was the one who wanted to bone his mom? I forget. Whoever, the, <laughs> whoever it was who wanted to bone his mom. Um, that's we've kind of got that situation going on here. It's a little gross, but you know what? For this kind of game, it's fine. Flamingo has given birth. Nice. In that case, we'll better get rid of a flamingo because we're we're on track for having too many of them, and they're noisy as hell. Okay. Right then. So I think something like the reptile house here. Um, will the bees are getting ill? Uh, can we get can we get that sorted soon, please? Okay, something like this. Let's have a look what we've got that kind of fits this area. We already have the Avery. Uh, we don't have the Japanese Garden. We have a restaurant. We could have another restaurant, I guess. Uh, reptile House, Primate House, none of these really fit. Petting Zoo. Uh, insect House. Do we not have enough money? Oh, it's because the Keeper's there. Okay, let's say Insect House we could probably do. Let's have something like that here. Um, with a bit of a bit of path in front of it, the sand path. We get that nice uh, rounded. There yeah, we go, like that uh, rounded bit there. And then we'll have some hedging around it, like so. 
Looks good. And uh, then we've got some like bits and bobs, right? So we can look at some bits and bobs. Uh, lights and stuff. Yeah, there we go. A couple of benches. Oh, look at that. The, the butterflies kick in when somebody goes in. Like the butterflies are all waiting. <laughs> Hold it, fellas. <laughs> somebody will be in to visit soon. Right, I think what we need to do then is... Wow, polar bear, people are loving the polar bears. I'm going to say that the polar bears are hating the fact that there's people around. Well, no, well suited, good. Lots of space room to go to. They had two babies. Okay. Um, yeah, people really want to see the polar bears. That's fine. What I do think we need to do is make this area here a bit more interesting rather than just like a T-junction there. So I'm thinking something like a fountain. So we have this one here. Unfortunately, it seems to be all the fountains are like the same size, which is three wide, which really kind of messes up. Unless it's a bigger one. There we go. So we want one that isn't three wide. Um, we also have the duck pond, which isn't three wide. But no, I think, I think which one was it? That one there. That's grandiose. I like it. Um, trouble getting to polar bear. Is that just because of how many people are around they're having trouble or what? People are loving the polar bears. Two polar bear babies, I suppose. That's like a big deal, right? Okay, so four wides. If we do that to kind of give us the idea of where it needs to go. And then we get rid of this middle bit. And eventually, people will stop using it. So one thing I think this game does quite cleverly, considering the age of it, is that the guests looks like the guests don't have much of a sort of uh, updating AI I, um, pathfinding. So I think they decide where they're going to go and they set out to go that way. And they don't realize the paths have changed until they stop still. I think that's kind of how this works. So they will eventually clear out that space. But it just takes a little minute uh, for them to do it because the ones who were already on the way are, uh, are already going to be using that path. All right. You see it's starting to thin out a little bit now. So while we wait, there is, of course, other stuff we can do. I think we could probably go for this cast iron fence around the edge there. Still having trouble getting to polar bear. I can only imagine that's because the, stat the people are in the way. Uh, I look forward to be able to using sort of staff paths and stuff in Planco. In Planzo, excuse me. Or Planzo. What are we calling it? Yeah, we're we calling it Planzo. Planzo. I like Planzo. Planzo and Planco. Sounds good, right? Uh, take that to there. I'm pretty sure that magical noise I can hear is people, is animals getting fixed. So we're nearly done there. The last few are sort of filling the, filling the areas there. So we're going to go for some lamps. Um, I feel like there should be one there, but it's going to be tricky to do because the road, never mind. Um, and then we can do... Benches here and here, 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 and then sort of the equivalent there, which would be there and there, right? So the only one we're struggling to put down is that one, but there we go, we've done it. We are geniuses. Uh, trash cans, we won't do one everywhere, we'll just do a few around. Right where we can. It's a busy path, there we go. Uh, all right, that's that done. And then, where's our lovely... No. There. No. Oh, look at this. One one lowly little chappy. He was still on that old path. As soon as he shuffles his mortal coil, we can get another one. I'm not killing him. Don't worry. Um, so I think here then, uh, concrete. Makes sense to have that as concrete. And then, is that, that's quite tall, isn't it, that really? I suppose that one, that one's kind of nice, actually. Like I know it's a, I know it's an exhibit fence, and that is going to be a problem, because it is going to, it is going to make itself into an exhibit, right? Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, I don't like that. We'll have to change that out, never mind. Uh, let's do that instead. Oops. There we go. And you. 
All right, good. We've got a nice little area there as we come in. Polar bears, super popular. They've got to be starting to be kicking off a bit because there's a lot of people around. Crowded by too many guests, told you. Um, but luckily, we're going to have a very quick another animal in to kind of disperse those guests a little. And uh, we're going to put them sort of up against the polar bears, I think. And they're going to be... <sighs> Penguins? No, they're a big deal. Let's move the penguins a bit further out. I'm going to say Arctic Wolf. Okay, so Arctic Wolf, quite a standard one this one's going to be. Um, but I'm hoping we can get away with it being a, a lower down one. Uh, you'll see what I mean. We're going to go from here. Grey Wolf's not happy. Oh, well. Um, what I would like to do is have an actual lower fence. Maybe do a couple of those there right and then a lower fence this time I mean it seems that seems obvious okay so arctic wolf okay we'll move that to somewhere a bit more useful okay so Quite a boring looking exhibit, but I think it's going to be all right. What I want to do is, we haven't got loads of cash, so we might struggle to do what I want to do. But what I do is lower the lower blah, 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 lower the terrain here. I want to lower the terrain here. There we go. Right, and hope that's enough to not let them out. There we go. But then use this to smooth it out on this side. And again, use that for the water. And be a bit more of a sort of natural, you know, they're just high up and that's why they can't get to you. I think that'd be quite a cool thing. So Arctic Wolf will go for a male and two females to start off with. And let's have a look at, oh, look, all sorts wrong here. So, more rocks, grass, they're not saying that it's, um, they're not saying that it's too uneven, which is good. So, let's see if we can paint these up. We've got 34 grand to paint them up with. Uh, they want regular water, not salt water. Oh, so, it's going to be all this. Oh, that's going to be your water, and hopefully enough. Uh, too much fresh water, if anything. Too much, if anything. So what ground do they want? Grey stone and snow. Now I'm going to suggest that the grey stone is, is their main one then. So we'll come in and, uh, and do all the grey stone. Turn this around. This is going to, this is going to pretty much wipe us out financially. So I really hope that the, uh, the polar bears are still going to draw in the cash. Right, so there's all that. Um, so it's telling me there's not enough grey stone, there's too much grass. That needs to be updated, surely. So there's too much now, not enough snow, and too much fresh water. That's fine. So let's just take it, take away a little of the fresh water using the grey stone. And see if we can get... No, still too much fresh water. They really don't want the water, do they, as much as the, uh, the old polar bears. So we can really sort of take some of that away. Still too much fresh water, wow. Right, there we go. And there, there's not enough snow. So snow is much easier to fix the problem. We can do some really lovely stuff with the snow. Still not enough. Let's bring that down a little bit then, start getting some finer. I really love the sort of like that. Oh, it's like misty. Still so much grey stone. Right? Okay, so you really didn't like the grey stone that much. You were lying to me, weren't you? You, really, you didn't want grey stone at all. Still too much grey stone. He originally wanted like three squares of grey stone. Wow. These are the fussiest dogs. There's not enough snow. Well, I don't know what you want to do about that. There we go. 
So shelter wise, what sort of shelter do you want? So you want a snowy rock cave as well, and you want rocks. Rocks and a shelter, that's fine. We can totally finish you off. We don't quite well, we just have enough money for the shelter, I think. Oh no, the shelter's not as expensive as I thought. Um so we can put some rocks in as well. Uh we won't be able to afford you the funky back ones, I'm afraid. So we're going to have to, uh... oh thank you, 10 grand emergency cash, that's uh, that's just how real life works, so that's good. Um... There we go. So I'm thinking that's done, nice big size for them and stuff. Let's get some uh, nice path in there to kind of have a look at. Oops, one one. Let's bring that around. Um where? Oh, I'm getting all the long way around. There we go, that's what I want to look at. So zookeeper is having trouble to get into Arctic Wolf. Oh I know, I know, I know. We're working on that, don't worry. There we go. But what we'll do is we'll bring it out that way, just there's a little bit of a gap there for them. I say I'm not too sure how much a, a one tile gap really does. Um but hopefully it sort of helps out a little bit and then we'll have some flowers there as well to kind of really help to give a bit of distance there like so otherwise you've now got your arctic walls you can come and see so you can come and see this one here and maybe get a bit up close to some of them where they come and hang out where the feeder feeds them and stuff and then here's just more of an overview of the whole thing do you know what? It just looks so dull. I wonder if we can just get away with... No. We can't. <laughs> I was going to say, just that little bit of height variation makes such a difference. But no. But no. Uh, and hopefully, people will start wandering up that way now. We've already made like a grand, like two grand in that time it's took. Um, people will start coming up. Polar bears are already no longer flavor of the month. Look, it's kind of crazy how quick... How quick the public turns, right? So next episode, we will um, finish off this polar area, I think, with one more animal and do some more sort of front-facing stuff. I think uh, penguins can go along here. And we'll try and come up with a nice way of showing the penguins. Probably do like a raised-up thing like we've done here, I think. That might be quite a cool way of doing it. Just to give us this, because we've got a bit of a lower-down bit. Almost like an underwater bit, but I know we can't really do that. Um, so we'll do it, and we've got a regular sort of thing here. Here we can do uh, penguins with a look down. What's wrong with what's wrong with flamingos? Not big enough, uh, and there's too much poo. But I'm quite happy to get rid of some of you because you're producing like I don't know what. That's the problem. Bring roll on Planet Zoo where you can sterilize them. <laughs> right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a like. It really does help out. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks to all of our patrons. They make these videos possible through their awesome support at patreon.com/slash-geekism. Thanks very much for watching, folks. I'll see you in the next one.